Hello everybody. The other day I was looking at my hard drive and I noticed I don't have enough free space. I noticed I was actually missing about 10 gigabytes of free space. The way you can do that is to load your file manager and just look down here at the very bottom line. It says my free space is 97.7 gigs right now. The other day it was 88 gigs free. I realized I hadn't been downloading a lot. I looked in my downloads, there wasn't really a lot in there. I checked my other folders, videos, pictures. I couldn't figure out what was taking up all this space when I just hadn't been downloading. I thought it was weird. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I checked the trash folder. Absolutely nothing in there. So I went and I got this app that I've always used for stuff like this and I'm going to show you how to install it right now. The app is called BleachBit, so what I'm going to have you do is open a command line terminal and just type in sudo apt install BleachBit. I've already got this so it's just going to gripe at me and exit. I will tell you one thing. When you first install this app, before you make any changes or do anything, you're going to want to reboot once. Because you're going to scroll down here in the menu and you're going to see bleach bit is root but not the regular bleach bit so what it did was edit your menu files in your operating system but it didn't update the GUI interface yet so simplest solution reboot once you reboot you're gonna see both entries in the list so they're both under system tools I'm gonna to show you how I set these up you're gonna to want to set both of these up the same way I always leave the menu configuration the way that it is. The only thing I change is this just this main app screen here. I check every box except free disk space, localizations, and memory under the system section. Do the same thing with both of these and you'll have my exact configuration that I use. I'm not saying it's a perfect configuration but it always gives me a warning about those three things. That's why I leave them unchecked. I just ran this, that's the reason it finished so fast. When you run this, it's going to be a bit slower. Especially if you've never done this before. Just double checking my config here. Yeah, it's the exact same thing as the other one. I also have to give you a warning. No matter how many times I've ever run this sometimes I find that it doesn't completely clean Firefox so you're gonna to wanna to do one extra step just to make sure that your browser is clean control shift delete hit that hotkey Make sure under time range to clear it says everything. Make sure every checkbox down here is checked underneath and click OK. It will memorize your settings so from then on you hit Control Shift Delete. Everything is just like that. I found sometimes that even though I run bleach bit it'll still show a page or two under history sometimes or sometimes I think up here in the URL bar it'll still show something. So if if it's really crucial to you that you're not leaving traces in your system you want to make sure you do that one extra step and clear everything out of the browser I found when I ran bleach bit for the first time that I had at least five or six gigs of files in the trash that it did not actually show in the system so if I fire this up and I click on trash this is exactly what my trash bin looked like it was completely empty I don't know why that is that I had files in the trash that Linux didn't even see, but BleachBit finds them like no problem at all. It empties your trash, it gets rid of your thumbnails, it clears your browser, and it deletes your old unneeded package files. So that's how I ended up getting my free space back. That's my method and my technique for you. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next.